Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Assalamu alaikum, family. Last week, when Andrew Tate converted to Islam, many of you were asking me about his conversion, my thoughts. And I wasn't planning on putting anything out on YouTube about this particular thing. But since my thoughts were so spot on, I decided, you know what, let me share what I put out on WhatsApp. So enjoy. So I can rose. So in terms of Andrew T converting, that's between him and Allah. But I said it before publicly, I don't have a problem with Andrew Tate. He's just not somebody that should be platformed on Muslim channels, period. Because his content and who he is is totally inappropriate for people to put in front of Muslims. And a brother was mentioning even today, he said even 10 years ago, a guy like that would not have been uh, put in front of the Muslims like that. And that's a fact. You know, you can't blame a Kafir, a rich Kafir, who's around a lot of rich Kafirs from doing rich Kafir things, right? That's he's just going to do what rich Kafirs do, right? So you can't blame that. But you can blame the Muslims who put that rich Kafir, from what I understand, he runs a, uh, he ran a porn business, all right, in one of porn, porno site, site or whatnot. And you bring a person like this in front of the Muslims because he says some nice things about Islam and stuff. That's madness. That right there is madness. You see what I'm saying? He himself, he's not the issue. It's the people around him that are the issue. You get me? This guy, you know, he's, from, he's Romanian from what I understand, lives in Romania, runs a porn business, and goes back and forth to, you know, the Middle East, UAE, Dubai, these types of places. So, like, you can't put two and two together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, y'all. Like, get, get with it. Like, get a grip, man. You know what I mean? So, all his sins, and after his shahada, of course, they'll be forgiven, right? But at the same time, he himself is not the issue. You watch every single Muslim platform, all the major Muslim outlets are going to try to get Andrew Tate on their platform. Every last one. The Dean Show, Muhammad Hijab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? I'm sure many of you, yes, many of you are eagerly anticipating the podcast between me and Andrew Tate. You will not be disappointed, inshallah. It will be live. Yes, it will be live. Daniel will try to get him on. Uh, three Muslims, you name it. Every last one of them will try to get him on. You get me? And they're going to put him on. He's going to say some madness. You get me? Because he's a new Muslim, right? It's just like with Millahan. I ain't got no issue with Millahan. You know what I mean? But how can you have um, somebody who just converted four months ago on all these massive Muslim platforms? Like, how you do that? That's that's. I've been asking this question about the reliability of the New Testament for the past two years. And not one Christian has come and told me. So because you haven't gotten an answer in two years, that means there's no answer? There is no answer. You can't answer it. Because Christian scholarship is saying it. Oh, how, what answer is that? Which Christian, Christian scholarship is saying, which, Christian which ideology? Scholarship is, okay, look, Christianity. Which teaches, ideology? Okay, so you're lay Christian. You go to your, you go to your local priest. He'll tell you Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were disciples of Jesus, witnessing what they wrote, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Christian scholarship will say they're all anonymous authors. Your Christian priests don't know nothing. The scholars we're quoting, they're the ones who are saying the authors of the Bible, the authors of the gospel are anonymous. Yeah, they don't they know. Do these, these are these- Somebody these... knows. Oh, oh, but you oh, have okay. to find them. But I'm not here to Somebody do that. Somebody I mean, knows. Listen, Milan, Milan, right. If someone can map DNA in, our paradigm, in, in our a chemistry paradigm, lab, Milan, somebody Milan. has the answer to your question, but in you a, have a... to go find it. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because if there Somebody was an answer, knows. if there was an answer, it would have trickled down by now. It would have come you out. You need to find these answers. Yeah. And you can go never stop. If you're genuine, you can right, never right. stop. You, you go find the answer. You can never stop looking. You go find it. That's not my mission. 
Because there's no answer. You should never say you've come to the end. Why? A genuine person looks till the end. Why? You never stop looking. You Why? never stop reading. You I, I, never I stop learning. I can see it from my eyes. You never stop. Oh, okay. You keep going. You learn you from there. You travel. You ask. You find the right people. You never stop. Pointless. That's irresponsible. Doesn't even begin to cut what that is. You feel me? If you're going to invite someone like that on, just let them tell their con conversion stories and that's it. You know what I mean? But you're telling them to, you know, get deep about Islam and stuff like that. And they just became Muslim. I remember when, uh, what's that basketball player's name? Kyrie Irving became Muslim. You got me? Kyrie Irving, he just, just, just became Muslim. And he says something about Jesus, right? Which is, it was a, a kufr or something like that, you know? But he's a new Muslim. He's already going to know everything. And, and these Muslim channels started blasting him. You know, you feel me? Even when I became Muslim, for years after I became Muslim, I believe jinn, jinns were not, uh, yeah, I believe that, uh, what you call it, devils, right? Like devils and demons were fallen angels. I didn't know that they were uh, uh, a species called jinn. I thought they were literally, literally fallen angels for so many years after I became Muslim. I didn't know. Nobody taught me that. They These guys don't, they expect, they think when you become Muslim, you're a scholar in one day. You get me? But furthermore, his conversion has already been horrifically politicized. Daniel Hakikaju almost jizz in his pants when Andrew Tate, I think he did jizz in his pants actually, like, I want to say almost, because that would be like giving him too much credit. He couldn't control himself. He came all in his drawers and went through his pants and through his stove and everything, and he couldn't control it, control himself, you know. Andrew Tate, oh, 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 oh. he became oh, 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 Muslim. Oh, 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 you know what that means? Oh, it means that oh, the liberal dawah oh, is failing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, but... It was something like that. It went something like that, right? You can you can watch it if you don't believe me, man. You know what I mean? Like he he ain't had that much come 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 out of his his knob, like not even with any conjugal visit he's ever had. You know, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that was like Viagra for that dude, man. But how you turn somebody's conversion into a liberal conservative issue, like? How does somebody do that? The dude just converted to Islam. You didn't mention Allah, Quran, Sunnah, manners, nothing. You, you know what I'm saying? You didn't mention Adab, you know, a, uh, Salah, nothing. You go straight to his conversion means that the liberal da'is are failing and they're, they're losing their influence or whatever the heck he said. It's, whatever he said is worse than what I'm telling you right now. So Andrew Tate announces that he is Muslim, alhamdulillah. May Allah keep him steadfast, ameen. I just wanted to share one initial thought, more thoughts to come later, inshallah. Brother Andrew became the most famous person on the internet because he unapologetically attacked feminism and the liberal world order. That is what made him unique and propelled him to the pinnacles of fame. And that is also what seems to have made him realize that Islam is the true true solution to feminism and the liberal world order. Christianity can't do it. These other religions can't do it. Islam is the only solution. And now there's potential for millions to follow him. This shows that the watered down, sugar coated dawah that bends over backwards to appease feminists and liberals is dead. There is no bigger evidence for how ineffective that approach is than Andrew Tate. You know what I mean? But that's what he said, you get me? And I'm like, this, this, this what's happening right now, we're seeing a, 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 a very massive and rapid paradigm shift in the landscape of Dawa and it's getting incredibly dangerous, incredibly fast. And the silence from these, the scholars and the, the duat is, is incredibly deafening. Because they don't, you can see that they don't want no trouble. But you know me, I want trouble. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
I want the smoke. I want the trouble. I had no problems. But it's so much happening at once. It's like you now you're living in a time where the prophet says something just said, don't say anything, man. Just take yourself and your family and go out to the mountains somewhere. I mean, this is this is absolute madness that's happening. And these guys are going to destroy the Tao even worse with this con conversion. Mark my words. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> <laughs>